Hey guys, thanks for taking the time today for this interview. Can you start off by telling us when Jump Fi first started? I think about two years ago that we like we started as a we started as a group on the record label Spare Records, and uh, like about uh, it was four years ago, and then about two years ago we started with the record label, and we started doing our shows and meeting fans and stuff. So. Okay, oh, the album. <laughs> Libby, what was it like recording your first album? It was a lot of fun. Um, um, some of us had like not been in that kind of situation in the studio, so it was a kind of different vibe than we were expecting. So it was a lot of fun, and um, you kind of got like, um, you know, you you don't think that you spend that much time in the studio, but you actually spend hours and hours and hours on each song and perfecting it um, just by each each um, word in the song. So it was a lot of fun and um, we're just now working on our second album. So that's exciting too. Are you writing any of your own material for this album? No, Brandon Brandon actually, yeah, Brandon actually um, has started writing some songs. I don't know if they'll be on this, this record, but hopefully on the next one. Most of us have heard your single, God Bless the USA. Were you amazed by how that single took off? Oh, uh, totally, yeah. Um, actually, Robin Jones, um, one of the head people of Radio Disney, she asked us to re-record the song, God Bless USA, because around September 11th, um, a lot of people started calling in and asking for Lee Greenwood's version of God Bless USA. And of course, they can't play country on the station, so, you know, they asked us to redo a pop version of it, and we got a great response from it. We, I mean, I wouldn't, I wasn't expecting that at all. It was just like totally a surprise. And this last weekend, I think it ended up at number 12 wow. on the Top 30 <laughs> Countdown. That's awesome. And of course, last year, you were on the Radio Disney Live Tour. What was that like? Yeah. That was so awesome, getting to meet like all the cool people. It was a good experience because we got to go out with 18s and the Baja men, and we weren't used to that, so that was awesome for us. Also meeting the fans and stuff, uh, getting to see their reaction after we dancing because they, yeah, they've never, I'm sure they've never seen us before, or heard of us, and after they saw us, they were like, awesome. <laughs> I also think it was our first mainstream tour, our first real mainstream tour, and that was really exciting. It was a great, great experience for us. I like what you said, Brittany, about people seeing you live, because when I tell people about you, I always say, the music is awesome, but you have to see them live. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, we just did a show, actually, in, can't, yeah, in Wichita. Actually, yeah, um, and it was really cold and wet that day, and it had rained all over the place, and the stage was really slippery, and so it was uh, kind of hard for us to do our show, and uh, we had all these uh, sweatshirts that people that worked there, you know, were contributing and stuff, so first show we went up there with these big sweatshirts and all that stuff, and we couldn't, we couldn't tumble or anything, but uh, um, I guess that gave us a chance to do more. You know, vocals. I mean, it was better for us, kind of in a way, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we couldn't perform as, yeah, it was kind of, we, we kind of made us mad because we couldn't perform that great for everybody. You know, we couldn't perform full out so they couldn't see it, but I think they got something out of it though, hopefully. Out of all the artists on that tour, did you have a favorite? Really nice. Yeah, they were. Extremely nice. The first day we saw her, she just. I mean, she just came up to, up to us and gave us hugs, and it was kind of like, she didn't know wow, she's genuine. Yeah, she was, we had a lot of fun. I mean, everybody was extremely nice, though. I mean, there wasn't anybody who was really, you know, mean or anything, so. Now, you guys just also had a huge opportunity to play the White House in February. Yeah. Leslie, what did that feel like? It was, yeah. it was like a... Was so nervous. Yeah, it was, it, was, awesome, it was like a dream. Like, we walked out on stage, and... You mean, you didn't see the president until you walked, like, you know, past this big wall or whatever, and once we all saw the president, it was kind of like, you know, everybody's, like, breath was like, oh, gosh, you know, what are we doing? Uh, let me just tell you, Jump 5 never gets nervous before a show. We always get excited, and let me just say, our knees were knocking together. We were extremely nervous. Like, our voices were shaking. We were just so nervous. It was... <laughs> Yeah, and we actually got to wear heels on that show. <laughs> that was like one of our only like three shows probably that the girls got to like wear dresses and heels because we never get to not dance in our shows. But um, one thing like President Bush actually made us like more comfortable once we were on stage because like he was like winking at us and like cheering us on and giving us thumbs up. I mean, he was just 
so awesome. It was so cool to have a president, you know, to know that he's so down to earth and that that much fun. And Brandon, I want to know what you thought about singing about Texas. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> um, well, yeah, because President Bush is from Texas. <laughs> the line where across the plains of Texas, I sang. I looked over at him, and it was <laughs> kind of funny because he started laughing, and <laughs> it was really funny because everybody around him started laughing, and he was looking over. <laughs> It was kind of cool to see the president like that, you know, laughing and stuff. It was, it was very, yeah, it was very cool. I liked it. You mentioned earlier you're working on a new album. Oh, yeah, yeah. How's that coming along, and do you know when that will be done? No, but it's coming out in August. Yeah, it's, com it's coming around the same time as last album, and yeah, yeah. And um, we've already recorded two and a half songs right now. We're going in the studio next week, so... Yeah, hopefully get some more done soon. <laughs> so the release is in August, and I also hear of an upcoming appearance on the Beauty and the Beast DVD coming out on October 8th. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. We're going to be... We did we did the song Beauty and the Beast for the, for the video, for the new re-release. And we're going to be on the DVD with our video. And behind the scenes, yeah. So it's going to be really cool. I can't wait. Is that a big movie for all you guys growing up? Yeah. yeah. I was really into the Disney movies. I had like, you know, the collector set or whatever. I, I know I had Beauty and the Beast bed sheets and I still use them, so. But I'm a dork, but I mean, you know. <laughs> Do you have any advice for people your age that are trying to become singers like yourselves? Um, we just tell everybody just to be yourself and just go out there and have fun with what you do and you know don't try to follow what people want you to do be your own person and be what you want to be so I mean and, um, to not compare yourself to others it's a big issue with Jump 5 we just you know if, if our sales aren't as good as some other pop group or something we're just, we just kind of get down but we've kind of learned to step up from that and not to compare yourself with others and just to have fun with what you're doing and that that there is going to be a place for you you just don't know yet even if you don't know but just to have fun with what you're doing. One thing that we did is like when we grew up, we've all grown up like doing performing and stuff, but we grew up just having fun with it. We didn't want to make what we wanted it to be something, but we didn't force it to be something. So just have fun with it and don't try to make it anything. That's great advice. Now, while you guys are out on the road and you guys are in the studio, is there one thing that keeps you focused and all together? Well, really, with Jump 5, um, God is such a main issue, and we love the fact that we can go to Him for any anything that's going on in our life. And um, and so, really, He's our ultimate. Um, he's the power of our life. And when um, before every show, we make sure that we pray as a group, and um, if there's anything going on, that we just let it be known to God, you know, and we just say it to Him, and He helps us out through any shows, and uh, He just really reveals Himself in the the different ways that he does you know and um he's just really been there for us we didn't expect this to happen like it has and it's been amazing and it's totally god and we're just so thankful to god and we give it all to him you look at